Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with the Schools Out for the Summer Paper Crafting YouTubers and Instagram Hop for June. And our hop today is obviously about summer or the end of school, something along those lines. I am using the end of my It's a New Day by Hip Kit Club. And if you've been watching my videos in the end of May, you'll have seen quite a few of these layouts with the same collection documenting 8th grade graduation. This is what I have left from the Hip Kit Club, this handful of embellishments, these scraps over here on the left, one full sheet of paper, um, lots of other embellishments still, and some a ton of alphas. So I've got my papers, my embellishments, my picture, so let's see how this goes. So obviously I'm going to use this paper <laughs> since it's the only full sheet of paper I have left. I debated on using that blue, but I really love the colors. And this right here is the layout it's going to be facing. So the colors go really well and the polka dots and stuff go really well with that. So I am using this front piece. I'm going to use up some of my scraps. And I will say in the end, I have like... I don't know, some branding strips and a few scraps, a little bit of that pink circled paper right there, and a little bit of this floral paper right here. And really, that's about it on the paper. Um, I do have quite a few alphas left because it's alphas and you can only use so many of them. Um, and I also have a handful of embellishments and a couple of those chipboard frames. But these colors are pretty... Um, easy to match and work with you know other collections and things so I am not at all worried about that some things just didn't fit with the graduation theme so it was not a big deal um that they weren't going to work because I figure you know especially with like word phrases and stuff like that they can go on pretty much any other layout as long as it goes well enough so I am going to ink around the outside of this piece of scrap that I used to add a little extra layer behind my picture. And I've put that down and that is prize ribbon. So prize ribbon, worn lipstick, and then the, um, I think that is, yep, wild honey are the three, three of the five colors that I've used. Twisted citron is one of the other ones. And then I think, um, one of the marmalade, another orange color I used earlier on in some of my layouts. So this is me pretty much documenting and getting or getting all of these embellishments on here. Uh, this is the majority of what's left. I do have some more things that just like I said, we're not going to work um, for these pictures or this layout. I still have quite a few butterflies. Um, but not as many as I expected to. I started with 18 and I have eight. So I've used 10 of them. Um, and I have, like I said, some of the chipboard frames left over, um, some tile alphas and some word phrases that like, like I said, didn't really fit. Um, but I'm just adding all the things. So this first picture on the left is my son all dressed up in a suit nothing like what he normally wears um but his dad helped him get dressed and he came back over to my apartment and was looking like a dapper dan <laughs> so i took this picture of him outside of our apartment and then the second picture is him shaking his principal's hand and receiving his certificate um saying that he's been promoted to high school <sighs> So, um, I had some leftover scraps of that polka dot paper, and so that is on the uh, matching page, as well as what I've matted my picture on, and so I went ahead and tore that a little bit, and I'm just making a little banner up at the top, and I will bring that down a little. I didn't realize how far off it was on camera. I moved my mat around to fiddle um, and create some layouts off camera, and I usually pull it closer to me, and I didn't move it all the way back up where it was before. So, um, I'm just adding a bunch of word phrases. Uh, this first one I put down right here says I'm not awake yet. It was pretty early in the morning. Um, we went in a lot earlier than he's used to. 
Um, and then these other ones just say, congratulations, amazing opportunities lie ahead. Go and make your mark. It is all just so exciting. Hello, new routine. Um, and then I'm going to put some down towards the bottom that say the surprise was real because my son walking back over from his dad's apartment to mine in this suit was definitely a surprise for his mom who did not anticipate him looking so handsome and dapper. Um, so I thought that the surprise, uh, little sticker phrase was going to work well. And then I've got brain power. Wow. What a rush. Gosh, what a day. And then this big word. Yes. And then this little blurb says it's going to be great. Um, and I kind of have that right there next to the owl, almost like the owl saying it. I just really felt like that was a good phrasing. And the owl always makes me think of, um, being smart. Um, and so I thought that that was fitting. And then I wanted to get this frame on here, but I didn't want to tuck it in. And I love the way this looks cut off like this. So um, I put that there and I'm going to add some little embellishments. But I didn't want to waste this piece of the frame. So in order to bring that same color over to the other side, I'm just going to tuck it in. And get that lined up um, over there. And I love the way that that looks. It just brings that color almost like it's coming all the way around and it keeps it all connected. So, and I love these dots. I think I'll make my own background papers with some different colors. Um, and I could do it very similar to this with just the Tim Holtz daubers or even my little finger daubers that I use when I ink up these things. Um, so I wanted to put this life is a gift make today count um, down here with the frame going across. But when I first put it down, I don't want it straight in the middle with nothing. Um, I want it to sit on something. So I added this little ticket above the, in the middle of the frame so that it would not just be floating there in the middle. Now it's sitting on that frame or on that little ticket. And so then I also take a flower. This is a leftover flower that got caught up somewhere in one of my little bins and didn't get put on another layout that had tons of flowers on it. So I thought it would be fitting enough. There are flowers in different places on this layout. So I cut it in half. I put one piece right here above this little uh, chipboard thing that says life is a gift. And then I take the other one and I'm going to tuck it in the little frame that I've put down here where it says yes. And I'm just going to tuck that underneath the little sticker that says the surprise was real. So that gives that orange um, it's going to be in multiple cup places as well because I am going to bring in my puffy hearts and add one up towards the top to give it that three points of the same color. And now I am oh, adding the puffy hearts and I used every one of my puffy hearts and these hearts are so cute. I really, really like them. And what I really love is that the bigger hearts, um, the top, two, I think it was the top two sizes of the three are outlined in white. So you can put it on white paper and the heart will stand out on its own. Or if you put it on, put it on something darker or the same tone, it'll still stand out because it's um, outlined in that white. So I thought that was super cute and I'm done. I have, am so excited that I got to participate in this. I definitely had pictures to document about summer being here. I work in the school, so I'm excited for summer even more so. So I hope you'll go down below to all the people who are hopping along and participating in the paper crafters, YouTubing and enter in. Instagram hop huh? uh, because they will be below and I'm going to bring in the layout that it's going to go with. See those colors match so well with the ink. I am super excited on how this looks. So I hope that you all will come back and see me. Um, this whole month I'll be here with 30 days of sketches and all sorts of other fabulous hops and excitement. So I hope you all have a great day and happy scrapping.